dear students today we will perform experiment number 1 that is determination of moisture in food sample moisture in a food sample can be determined simply by heating the food to a specific temperature and holding at that temperature for a specified period of time after that by the difference in weight before drying and after drying gives the amount of water content that has been released by this method simply we can determine the amount of moisture content present in a food sample to perform this experiment we have to divide the food in smallest possible particle size so that the surface area of the overall mass is increased and as the surface area is increased the release of moisture will be easier so to perform the experiment easily we have to divide the food in smallest portable possible particle size so the necessary uh, equipments or uh, apparatus which are required the food sample weighing balance is required petri dish is required to put the food sample for drying then we require desiccators desiccators is, are the apparatus where the food after it is being dried is taken out from the oven and is kept at that temperature to equilibrate with the atmospheric temperature but during this process it may gain moisture from the atmosphere desiccator will prevent that so we have to put the product in a desiccator where anhydrous calcium chloride is kept so that any moisture absorption by the food material is not possible hot air oven next is slicing arrangement or mortar pestle for grinding operation spatula you need to take it for taking the sample tongs we have to take the product in a petri plate and put it in the oven so tongs will be required because it is very hot and gloves these are the apparatus or equipments which are needed next is the procedure the first part is you have to clean the place where you will have to perform the experiment next start the hot air oven and balance and set the hot air oven temperature at 105 degree centigrade then the sample is to be prepared but before that you have to take the petri plate where the sample is to be kept and the petri plate is to be dried before it is to be wet it is being dried then then it is to be kept in desiccator for equilibration to room temperature and then the weight of the petri plate is taken so suppose the weight of this empty petri plate is considered as w1 now the samples are grinded and are placed into the petri plate with a spreading area excessive or higher spreading area and then it is again taken the weight of the sample in petri plate that means this weight is the petri plate plus sample suppose this weight is w2 now this sample in petri plate is to be kept in a hot air oven where the temperature has already been reached to 105 degree centigrade and at this temperature it is to be kept for three to four hours after three to four hours it is to be taken out from the petri plate with a tongue and it is to be kept in a desiccator for equilibration of temperature to room temperature then it is again wet suppose this final weight is w3 this process is to be continued until constant weight of plus minus 5 milligram is achieved suppose the weight of the petri plate with lead after drying is w3 gram so we can very clearly understand that from the table that w1 is the weight of the empty petri plate and w2 is the petri plate plus sample so w2 minus w1 gives the weight of the sample and after drying the weight of the petri plate with sample is w3 gram so how much water is lost water lost is w2 minus w3 gram that means water lost is w2 minus w3 gram and the sample one weight was w2 minus w1 gram moisture content in the food sample in percent is w2 minus w3 divided by w2 minus w1 multiplied by 100 it gives the percentage moisture content in the food sample